When you get into trouble on the water, many times you call out Mayday on the Maritime Radio. It is the international hailing and distress call. Only problem is sometimes people are using it for the wrong reasons. A capsized boat, people in the water. The U.S. Coast Guard is there to pull them up to safety. We try and get as quickly on scene as possible. Lieutenant Rachel Richtanik is a U.S. Coast Guard pilot. It's her job to respond to distress calls. When a call comes up, we first talk to the pilot and the rest of the crew. We have search and rescue planners working from within the command center to find the best way to respond to whatever it is we're hearing. But not every call is as it sounds. Hey, hey, hey. The person is calling out Mayday, but they're not in trouble. The problem is the Coast Guard doesn't know that when the call comes in. We can hear someone say help or Mayday and then very little else. We have to treat these cases very seriously because it could be that that is the last transmission that someone who is in danger was able to make. Or they could be nothing more than a hoax, and too often that's the case. The U.S. Coast Guard for the Great Lakes region says they had 40 false distress calls in 2015. The cost to respond to them, more than $711,000. So far this year, they've had 26 hoax calls, costing the Coast Guard about $683,000. Remember, that's your tax dollars. But the financial toll is far from the only worry about these fake calls. Rachel recalls a recent night flight when three separate hoax calls came in. The actual duty crew ended up uh, flying for too long, so they couldn't fly anymore. So then uh, we had to call the backup crew in so that they could keep flying for the rest of the night. Responding is part of the job, but... God forbid that there is a real case that's going on, and unfortunately we're investing our time with somebody that thought it would be fun to get just a flyover from the Coast Guard or is just making a false call uh, just for fun. And if there is uh, somebody trapped on a boat that actually is sinking and we can't divert to that one because we're on this case, it gets a little bit frustrating from time to time. That's why the Coast Guard has investigators dedicated to finding the people making the fake distress calls. Penalties for making a false distress call can include six years in prison, a $250,000 criminal fine, $5,000 civil fine, and reimbursing the Coast Guard for the cost of the search and rescue operation. Yeah, we do have that one. Petty Officer First Class Craig Reed has more than 17 years with the Coast Guard working around the world. You only use May Day in the dive emergencies, you know, such as your boat's taking on water, a fire, or a personal injury on board so the correct assets can get to the actual emergencies. Craig found a person responsible for a fake distress call last summer on Lake St. Clair. Mayday, mayday, naughty boy has hijacked naughty girl. A game of violation for false distress. The case was prosecuted in Macomb County. She has to pay the Coast Guard $2,000 in restitution, a $550 fine, and is on probation for eight months. To get out there and to know that they're not in distress and they're out having fun or just being an error of judgment. It, it takes its toll because we go out and if we have to constantly search for them, I mean, it could be hours. The Coast Guard sharing their frustration so people will think twice before having fun with their maritime radio. I would want people to know that they're endangering other people's lives when they do this. The Coast Guard says if you do call for help, remember, state your location, the nature of your emergency, and how many people are on board. Also, if you have a cell phone, give them your number, also an alternative radio, and say how many people on board have life preservers. I'm Karen Drew, reporting along the Detroit River, multiple centers.